I always wanted to, you know, leave Hong Kong. The first time I ever left Hong Kong, I was in the Philippines. I remember taking off on this plane, looking back in the window, seeing how small Hong Kong become. I said, oh my God, I got to go and recognize the world so big. I want to see more. How are you? Hi, I'm Cicely. Nice, um, nice to meet you. Nice yes, to a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Cicely. Thank you uh, for inviting us. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I want to learn so much about uh, your vineyard and wine. It's a Japanese style, you know, the grains, uh, the rice uh, shell, right? You can see the grains. What a brilliant idea. You don't waste anything, you know? You know, it's a craft, and it's, it's a science, and also, you know, it also related to, uh, it depends on nature also. You know, it creates something, uh, it has the moon and the sun kind of lined up. Okay. You know, uh, cork, you know, Portugal has the biggest producer in the world, and um, there's no other country. So I think cork is the best uh, for bottling wine. This is very good, even though, you know, we didn't need to rest it, but it's so fresh tasting. Mm -hmm. um, and also, um, you're right, it, it can be a little colder mm -hmm. because it's more fresh and also the acidity. You know, I'm just thinking about this would be perfect, even if it's colder, you can actually eat it with lobster. Very cool. <laughs> Cats, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. It's so great. So, Chef, how are you? I'm Cicely, nice to see you. When, when I got off the, the bus, I could smell the air, it's very wow. fresh. Yeah. I heard that you make a lot of uh, vegetable around here. Please enjoy. Yes. Well, I won't keep you, I understand, because you need to cook. I love Italian food. Yeah. I think Italian food is one of the best uh, in terms of simplicity and simple, but it's very hard to do. It tastes like a carrot puree. Look at this. Wow. As you said, what else can you bring to the room? I know. I know this, this shiitake is so heavy. Yeah, shiitake, yes. This area, Nagano Prefecture and Yamanashi Prefecture are surrounded by mountains. Ah. So we can pro uh, grow a lot of good mushrooms. It's like eating shiitake when it's heavy, it's almost eating a piece of meat. This is sour kaki, not sweet kaki. To, to dry. Eat it. And so this is for dry. Oh, dry so when it's dry, it, it gets sweeter. Yeah. Broccoli, cucumber, you know, carrots. Mm -hmm. You know, I love these leeks. This is uh, so good. So good. Yeah, it makes it uh, for salad, soup.
No, I'm going to make fettuccine. <laughs> Pocatini. <laughs> Turn that into a little bit of fusion, you know what I mean? Yes. That's me, Mr. Same Family. You know Lee. <laughs> One moment, I'll tell you, let me take a study on this first. And then three, you make it... Okay, got it. So this water... Mm -hmm. This is this. Mm -hmm. Fine. As small pieces as you can. But small pieces? Small. Oh, I see. Like this. Like this. Mm -hmm. Don't grab. Oh, loose. Loose. Ah, like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Combine together. Mm. Ah. Mm. I wish the table would live higher. <laughs> mm. One to one hundred fifty mm. times. Two, three, okay. mm. With both, you use your both hands. One hundred fifty. After five times, you change. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right? Because you are strong enough. 100. Yeah. So 100 times will be enough. <laughs> <laughs> so Number three. Kikuneri, 50 times. Huh? Ah, you see, the dough, what I'm trying to understand now, because they are curving the dough in, so there is no more lines. They want to make it into a perfect ball, so you have to fold it. はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、はい。はい、は
You see the texture is really great. When she was just cooking for one minute, after the shock in really cold water, that really makes the noodle taste very crunchy, not starchy because of some of the starch sort of kind of rinse it off. But I wish I could do a better job. This a little bit too much like a fettuccine. Now, maybe this one is the right size of a soba. So, well guys, you know, first time, everything has a beginning. So, today, I think uh, I did a pretty good job. Welcome to Japan. Yeah, I'm so happy to see you here. Oh, this is your world. Now I know, put together. I have tasted your food. I have met you many times. Now I want to see you. your world. Awesome. I met uh, Chef Yamashita. That was about, um, I would say, maybe even seven years ago. Yamashita was uh, doing a promotion and I got a chance to experience it for the first time. You know, the friendship, it was really buying through food. Now today, you know, seeing him in his world, you know, going, coming to his restaurant, I think it's great because I can see really what he does in his environment. You know, always say, you know, people, chef always uh, feel much better when you're cooking into your own kitchen. So they can express, they understand the staff, they understand the product, and also, you know, it's a better story to be told on the plate. So, exciting. Talk about your food. It's true. Really? Oh, baby. Nice. Yeah, I'm so happy to you, you know, to get to know you more as a chef. The food is so awesome. I really enjoy, you know, your uh, the techniques of using French, European, Japanese. The charcoal is uh, from uh, Japan. Can I see? He's making us the uh, the Kobe, you know, on charcoal. Mm. You see, mm. it's heavy. You know, uh, a good charcoal. It means you got to have a good uh, good branches to make a good charcoal. You know, if you hit the charcoal, can actually have sound. It means it's solid. It means a continuation of uh, broiling it and grilling it and just releasing the heat and not just burning it. Oak! Oak! Yes! You know in Canada we have many oak. So uh, this is uh, really special. You know when I taste it, you know if I close my eyes, it's Japanese. When I open my eyes, it's European. It's beautiful. You know as a chef, sometimes when you're putting things on the plate, you're actually tasting it. The imagining you're tasting it, the amount you're putting in, you know, where you want to put it, what, what is a guest is going to experience with that. You know, I uh, love, uh, you know, the plate you use also, uh, and also the flavor. It's really, uh, su it's such a great uh, pleasure to eat your food. Temperature is everything. You know, I like the, uh, the temperature, nice and cold. Where, where have you get this idea? Uh, yeah. 
っとねちょっと日本語で言いますいやあと僕神戸生まれなんで,で神戸っていうのはなんか港町なのであの全部がこうミックスされてるんですね文化がだからトム・フレンドが、えっと、スリランカとかイン,インドとかチャイニーズとかいっぱいそういろんな友達がいたので文化がミックスされてる So, when, when you start,、uh, you know, mixing culture,、mm. there's other chefs、mm. looking at you, you're not doing pure cuisine in Japan. ソースって実は神戸が発祥だったりとか、うん、なんかそんなものもいっぱいあって、まあ、そこらへんの時代がこうミックスしたカルチャーの中で僕の料理ちっちゃい頃からずっと来て,来ているので。The circle and, and also the rhythm of、uh, the way he plated the plate and then there's this、uh, space so he can actually focus in the whole plate。That looks so beautiful。逆に日本の古いテクニックをすごく勉強しました。すっごく古いテクニックを勉強してそれを全部身につけてから自分の中で分かりやすいような感じでアウトプットしていくだからさっきあの支えてたみたいに目をつぶって食べた時は本当のトラディショナルのジャパニーズなんですよで見た感じは全然違うけどだからそこは裏切りたくないんですよねここ This place is just wonderful The food that you taste is so good You have to come to Tokyo to try it out. You know, it's tough to tell you in front of the camera, but once you taste the food, it's just so good. It's worth it to come to Tokyo just to come to have this meal. This is all the dancing crabs. <laughs> This is the real dancing crabs. <laughs> What are you making? I'm making bacchetto. Bacchetto. Is it purple potato? No. Is it a potato? Potato. It's potato, right? I know this. You got some、uh, baby crab. Can I see? That's a that's a very tiny little crab. That's become one crab. So、yes. this is how small this is. You have a panko. Yeah. And also、uh, crab meat inside. Is yes, it potato? Yes, yes. You have potato? Yes, potato. I, I want to try this. Sure, sure. I love、uh, sure, crab. Sure, sure. Oh, I like to try this. This is、uh, it's like a fried sausage crab. Very crispy, right?、Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, the fish is very nice. That's a, that's a great、uh, baby crab. Very good with beer. Yes. We're going to have some beer. <laughs> so you have purple, white, green. And red, that's beautiful color. I love being in the kitchen, especially when I see something I've never seen before, you know, like the baby crab, tempura. I wanted to try so badly.、But、and also, very small, right? Huh? Very small. The kitchen is、yeah. small? You know, sometimes small is、yeah. more efficient. 
yes. Because you can just turn around this. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. My first kitchen in, uh, in, in Canada, my first restaurant, really small. Oh, really? And, yes, and everybody had to get along very well. <laughs> That's the key. Spider crab. Remember we saw the small one? Now there's a big one. Mm. We will make guacamole for you. Yay! You gonna make it? Yes. I'll oh, you it. want me to make it? Uh, yeah. I'll make it. Yes. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna make it. Cilantro pepper. This is jalapeno. Okay. So first. Avocado. Avocado. Scoop it. Are you learning? Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Black pepper. Salt. Need a little lemon juice. With some onions. You gotta have style. Some peppers. Some tomatoes. Spicy. Some cilantro. I love cilantro. Wow. Mm. This is all. <laughs> so we have one. Yeah. We'll put it on the plate. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to draw maps. I just loved drawing maps and, and then figure out geographically where those little places, big places are. And that was one of my, uh, not the word passion, curiosity. That's how we begin. Watch left hand, right hand, and a little bit in your mouth. Just cleaning up your handle. So, for the next person. I like the thoughtfulness of for the next person. In many cultures, you know, to bring joy, to share the, uh, you know, the passion of knowledge of food, you know. And I, I think it's one of the greatest subjects in humanity. This trip, you know, going to Japan again, you know, you know, smelling in the air, you know, what really, what it's all about, and listening to the sound. And I get inspired. If you don't see, you don't know. You have to be there, especially food. You know, if you put a screen on, you give you a recipe, you can taste, you can smell it. It's totally a different thing.